Discord, or if you guys have been doing writing summaries. How do y'all feel? Have y'all ever done this to five? Do y'all know what that is? Okay. I've done that with y'all. Come on, I did that. So, like, this to five, tell me how you, your comfort zone on writing and summary. So, this to five. So, five is, like, you could be the expert that teaches how to write summaries to, like, the whole universe, to, like, the president or whatever. Zero is, I don't even know what a summary is. Four is a pretty good, so it kind of shows in them. specific strategy we could use to help us write a summary. So our I can say this. I can use the theme of a story to help me identify the problem of a story because we know that finding that problem is going to be part of our summary. Our summary has to include that problem and solution that's in there if it's like a fictional story. Right? So when I'm writing a summary, I really do need to figure out like what's that key problem in that pivotal thing that happens. And one way to do that is for me to think in my brain and really try to decide what's the theme? What is the important message that I'm trying to get out of the story to help me figure out the most important thing going on in there? What did the author want me to take from this? So I'm going to model doing that thinking with a story called A Tricky Monkey. So I'm going to give you each a copy so you can follow along, but you don't have to. I'm going to read it. So you use whatever your learning style is. If it's easier for you to just listen to me read the story, you can just listen. But if you're someone who likes to read along while I'm reading, you can do that. So I'm really going to be trying to see, can I identify the theme to help me come up with kind of that problem in the story? So, a tricky monkey. Kojo the monkey lived in the rainforest. There were lots of monkeys in Kojo's part of the forest. Kojo had many brothers and sisters. That was good because Kojo had many monkeys to play with. But Kojo liked to, pay, liked to get attention too. That was hard to do with so many monkeys around. Hmm. So now I'm kind of thinking to myself, I'm wondering if maybe the problem is it's getting attention, finding like what monkeys you're going to hang out with. I'm wondering if that might be the problem in this story. I'm going to keep reading and see. One day, Kojo decided to play a trick on the other monkey. Leopard, Kojo cried. A leopard is coming. The monkeys scrambled. They climbed up to the highest tree branches. They shook with fear. Leopards like to eat monkeys. Kojo laughed. Ha, huh, just kidding, he said. Kojo's aunt Alma scolded him. Nobody likes a liar, Kojo. Kojo felt bad for a little while, but he soon got bored. Hmm. Now I wonder, I wonder if the problem is maybe he's just a bored monkey. He's trying to find something to do to get attention, something to spend his time doing. So I'm wondering if that's the problem. How's he going to solve this problem of being bored? I'm going to keep reading and see if that is the problem. So, so far I'm wondering, could it kind of be like attention or is he bored? I guess those could go together too. So let's see. So then it says a few days later he did it again. Leopard! Kojo cried. A leopard is coming. The monkey scrambled again. Kojo laughed. Ha, oh, just kidding again, he said. Aunt Emma shook her head. Be careful, Kojo. Nobody will believe anything you say if you keep this up. Oh, now I'm wondering, maybe the problem is about people believing you. Maybe trust. Let's see. The monkeys were all pretty upset with Kojo. They ignored him. Ooh, ignored him. That kind of is about the attention problem I was thinking. So maybe attention is the problem. He wants people's attention. Kojo sat in the tree branch, bored and lonely. Ooh, what is the problem? Attention, bored, or trust? Or telling the truth? I don't know. I hope I can figure it out. Then he saw a shadow on the ground below. A hungry looking leopard padded across the rainforest floor. Leopard! A leopard is coming for real this time, Kojo yelled. None of the monkeys paid any attention. The leopard was heading right for them. Kojo knew what he had to do. Here, leopard! Over here, he yelled. The leopard chased Kojo. Kojo climbed up to the highest branches. The other monkeys now saw the leopard, and they climbed into the trees, too. The leopard could not climb as high as the monkeys. She gave up and walked away. 
Kojo was relieved. The other monkeys were glad that Kojo had tried to save them. They forgave him for lying and played with him again, and Kojo became someone they could trust. So have y'all ever noticed before that sometimes authors kind of put like the moral or something at the end? And I had several ideas. Could it be it was bored or attention or that idea of trust? When I got to the end, I really feel like the author told me the theme of this is about trust and what we do to help people trust us. So I know if I was going to sit down and write a summary on this, that I would want to make sure I had part of my problem there is Kojo and the monkeys trusting him or not, and then what the solution is of how people solve the question. Um, it's not really a question, but I've read a book, uh -huh. and it is, um, there was a shepherd, uh -huh. he was always bored, Yes. and once he was, he was tripping other, the other villagers, that there was a wolf coming to steal the sheep. You know what, have y'all ever noticed that sometimes there's common themes that go through lots of stories can have the same thing? Hand on your head if you've ever read another book or a story that had a theme similar to this. I, I mean, I think I'm a little boy that cried wolf. Yeah, I think so. I did that when I read that. Yeah. So a lot of times we see common themes and it kind of helps us when we get to the end to think, oh yeah, I've read other things with a theme like that. So I read on, asking myself questions to find the theme, and I could use that to later help me write a summary. Now you guys are going to get to practice that with another story. And you can write notes on it if you're having ideas of what might the theme be, or you can underline, highlight, whatever your style is to help you. So you guys, as soon as you get this from me, you start reading can you figure out what the theme might be in this story that can help you decide the problem of the story? I might not have any more Thank you. that circle of Okay, so go ahead and underline your right down. Have you read all the way to the end? Okay, good job. Sometimes it changes just like it did for me. Can it annotate any way that's going to help you learn? Yeah, you guys can. These are yours. You can write on it any way that's going to help you. Yeah.
come with a little group and share with each other what you're thinking the theme is and kind of what evidence helps you come to that point. Mm -hmm. What was the problem in this story, do you think? Like, not like our children. Um, I think the was the Here, all come back in. I heard several really neat ideas that came out of First of all, I heard several different kind of possible themes, and that got me wondering. Can something have more than one theme? kind of different nuances that come to the same idea. So I heard bravery, I heard perseverance. And if you have to be brave, sometimes you have to persevere to be able to be brave. So those might kind of go together. I heard kind of trying new things too. Do you think there could be an element of that? Oh, and you kind of need confidence sometimes to be able to be brave. Good. So if we get this and wonder if that's our theme, kind of like be brave and persevere, go through something, even when you're really scared. Now, if I was thinking about that summary part, what is the problem in my story? What is that problem that's happening here? That you would have to make sure we include in their summary. Just tell your shoulder partner real quick. What would the problem be? I was scared of the high I was scared of the high dive. I ran and she got me confidence. Like she could do that. I'm gonna try to do so. Okay, now let's go back. All I was gonna say, she had that problem of scared. I don't want to do the high dive. So if we were doing our summary, that would be our problem. And then our solution is how she solved it, how she got to it. So we would definitely want to include that in our summary. So I want you guys to remember. Sometimes even reading a book, it can be kind of hard. <laughs> to figure out what's the main problem. Sometimes there can be lots of little problems in a story, right? But looking at that theme of a story can help us really decide that one big main problem.